Just some advice for running when the forecast is calling for some really hot temperatures or humid conditions or really hot and humid. First of all, remember, in order for a run to be great or even good or just okay, the run needs to end safely. Got it? Good. That's why on a really hot or humid day, it's best to run at the coolest part of the day, and that means right before sunrise. So early. It sucks, I know. But you know what? It sucks less than running at the hottest part of the day. It's also a lot safer. Or you could run after sunset. Temperatures will drop a little bit, but it will be dark. So you're going to want to wear some reflective gear, a headlamp, and you may want to run with a partner or partners reminds me it's a good habit to start like today that when you go for a run let someone know you're going for a run let them know where you're going to go for that run and let them know about how much time it's going to take also let them know you're going to text them or call them when you're done could be a friend a teammate could be family or a loved one they won't mind in fact they'll appreciate it like i said that's a habit you can start today okay make sure you have access to water throughout the run in fact make sure you're hydrated when you start the run getting hydrated not something you want to work on during the run you just want to stay hydrated during the run which also leads me to this next point be consistent with your water intake throughout the day and the week and the month and the year you know what? just be consistent with your water intake all the time water you have access to throughout the run i want you to have a lot of it why? Because I want you to not only be drinking it, I want you to be putting some of that water on you. That's right, little showers throughout the run, which is why it would be great to have a route, a course, or a loop where you have access to water fountains or a garden hose. And if you're one of those people who's thinking, I can't stop during my run to take little showers, oh, get over yourself. Yes, you can. In fact, that little shower you take, it's going to make the run a little bit better because it's going to cool you off. And better runs lead to a better runner. And yeah, you're probably going to need to adjust the pace or the distance or the duration or all three if you're going for a run when it's hot and humid. You know, every run has a purpose. Well, every purpose has an effort associated with it. And all those numbers we love to pay attention to, pace, distance, duration, well, in order to run the right way, you're going to need to adjust them so you can match the effort of the run so you can achieve the right purpose for that run. So yeah. You may need to back off and slow down the pace or run less minutes or less meters. That's doing the right thing. That's smart running. And that's not soft. Being stupid isn't hardcore. Running smart is hardcore. And you run smart when you run the right way. And I'll just end this by reminding you of what I said at the beginning. In order for you to have a great run or a good run or even an okay run, you need to end your run safely. So if you can't go out and have a safe run because of the conditions, don't run. Sometimes the best run is no run at all.